Explore what happens to water when it flows over and through objects of different shapes and sizes. Tap an object to move it to the wall. Then tap on Dell to move the hose. The water is going through the pipe. How many different ways can you fill the containers on the ground? The water makes the pinwheel spin. Tap on a container to empty it. The dog is thirsty. Move the hose to fill up the dog's water dish. You made the dog so happy! A wooden board is blocking the water. Move the hose and put objects on the wall to create a path for the water to reach the dog's dish. Thank you for giving the thirsty dog some water. Now how will you get the water into the bowl? You made the dog so happy! Can you think of another way to fill the dog's bowl? Try moving the hose. Dogs drink lots of water when they are hot. You made the dog so happy! Tap an object to put it into the water. Does it sink or float? The bowl floats. What happens when you put an object into the bowl? Can you make a floating object sink? Tap the red whistle to clear the pool.
The marble sinks. Sometimes small things sink. The beach ball floats. Sometimes big things float. Tap the red whistle to clear the pool. Explore what happens when objects go down the slide. A slide is a kind of ramp. Ramps have one end higher than the other. Tap an object to move it to the top of the slide. Does it roll or slide? Round things roll. Why does it roll? Round things roll. Does it roll or slide? Objects with flat surfaces slide. Why does it slide? Objects with flat surfaces slide. Why does it roll? Why does it slide? Let's aim for the target. Use the ramp to get the object on the target. Use the arrows to make the ramp steeper or flatter to help the object roll. Tap an object to move. Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. Tap an object to move it to the top of the ramp. That went too far. How can you change? That went too far. How can you change the ramp? Why didn't the object land on the target? Do you Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. You didn't reach the target. Do you need to raise the ramp or lower? You didn't reach the target. Do you need to? Why didn't the object land on the target? Why didn't the object land on the target? Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target. That went too far. How can you change the ramp to... That went too far. How can you... Your ramp was just steep enough to reach the target.
A ball rolls differently on different surfaces. Some surfaces create more friction with the ball. Friction is a force that slows down things that are moving. Tap on a surface that you think will help the ball bubble wrap. Tap the button. The bubble wrap is too bumpy. Try another surface. Grass. Tap on a surface that you think dirt. Sandpaper. The sandpaper is too rough. Try another ice. Tile. Rug. The ball went too far. Try another wood. The wood is too smooth. Try another rug. Sandpaper. Ice. The ball went too far. Rug. Dirt. Brick. The brick is too rough and bumpy. Try an ice. Rug. Grass. Explore shadows. Tap to add objects to the scene to observe their shadows. The object blocks the light from the sun. Where is the sun when you see a very long shadow? What size is the shadow when the sun is high in the sky? The sun is high in the sky. That makes a very short shadow. Shadows look different depending on where the sun is in the sky. Tap to add objects to the scene. Move the sun and observe what happens to their shadows. Compare the shadows of different objects. What do you notice? Where is the sun when you have a long shadow? Tap the arrow for a new scene. Some objects block the sun more than others. Compare the shadow of the bike to the shadow of a building.
Some objects block the sun more than others. Compare the shadow of the swings to the shadow of the slide. Compare the shadow of the cactus to the shadow of the wagon. How are the shadows the same? How are they different? What's making that shadow? Tap the object that... It's a teapot! What happens to the shadow if you move the teapot closer to the light? Tap the arrow to see a new shadow. It's a teapot. What happens to the shadow if you move the teapot closer to the light? Tap the arrow to see a new shadow. On a thermometer to see what the temperature is. The liquid in the thermometer rises when the temperature is warm or hot. What does the thermometer look like when the temperature is cold? Tap the arrow to change the Look where the needle stops on a dial thermometer. Dark blue is freezing cold and red is hot. The higher the number on the digital thermometer, the hotter the temperature. Try another thermometer. The liquid in the thermometer rises when the temperature is warm or hot. What does the thermometer look like when the... The higher the number on the digital thermometer, the hotter the temperature. Look where the needle stops on a dial thermometer. Dark blue is freezing cold and red is hot. Try another thermometer. Drag the circle up and down the thermometer to change the temperature and control the weather. What happens when you tap the cloud button? You made it rain!
What happens when you tap the cloud button? You made it snow! Dell is dressed for the cold. Tap a thermometer that shows that it is... D is dressed for a warm day. Tap the thermometer that shows it is warm. Dots ready for warm weather. Tap the thermometer that shows that it is warm. Dell's ready for a swim. Tap the thermometer you think shows... It is cold and snowy. Tap on Dot to see what she wears to keep warm. It's a warm day. Tap on Dell to see what he wears to stay cool. Brr, it's cold. Tap on D to see what she wears to stay warm. It's raining. Tap on Dell to see what he wears to stay dry. Tap on D to see what clothes she wears on a warm day in the city. Help Dot choose materials to build an umbrella that will... Water is getting through! Dot is...